What is going on YouTube? So coming back today with a video that I just wanted to do to kind of clear things up. I've talked about Dwayne Wade in almost every single free agency, or free agency video I've done so far. And that's been a lot of them. He has been going back and forth with rumors, with meetings, with offers. Um, and... I mean, there's been different destinations for him in the news every single day. Now, the four teams that have been that have seemed like they're in the running the most are obviously the Miami Heat, the Denver Nuggets, the Chicago Bulls, and or also the Milwaukee Bucks. All right, so the five teams. So you got the Nuggets, Bulls, Bucks, Heat, and then you got the Cavaliers. Now, in this video I wanted to talk about: Is he going to the Cavs? Is LeBron recruiting him to the Cavs? No. He, no, they, they, I'd say right now it's like a 5% chance that happens. Yeah, I mean, it'd be great to see Dwayne Wade playing for the Cavs. And, you know, I'll be honest, Dwayne Wade, Kevin Love, <laughs> Kyrie Irving, and LeBron James, that's a lineup that can compete with the Golden State Warriors. I mean, it'd still be difficult. Dwayne Wade would have to stay healthy. But Dwayne Wade healthy, that's a lineup that can compete. Now, Again, if you look at the Cavs' cap room right now, they have $3 million to spend on Dwayne Wade. Is he going for that now? No, he's not. Would it be cool to see him there? Would it be awesome to see him there? Yes. Now, where is he going to go? Where do I think he's going to go? Now, this is mainly for separate videos. That's normally in my like individual room or videos. But where do I think he's going to go? I'd say, I'd say, I mean, obviously, back to the heat is the number one option. The Bulls, I don't think so. As much as they don't make sense, I mean, the Nuggets and the Bucks are probably the next two favorites. I've mentioned it before, the Bucks maybe, because, you know, they at least got something in place. They made the playoffs, like, not this past year, but the year before. It's like a, I can't remember if they were a four or five seed. But, you know, they got some good young pieces in place with Ante DeCumpo, uh, Jabari Parker, Chris Middleton. Um, they, You know, what they got going there is all right. But the Denver Nuggets, man... I don't know. I don't know what you're trying to do there. Maybe find a mentor for Jamal Murray and Emmanuel Moutier in the backcourt. I said that that would be like a really cool thing for them. And, you know, the Nuggets might be good within four or five years, but they're a while away. They're as far away as maybe any team in the Western Conference right now. So I wouldn't really understand that. I mean, Dwayne Wade at this point with the Heat, he's, I mean, he, he, he is the Heat of the last, oh, 10 years. 12 years. It's weird to think of him not in a Heat jersey, even though there's been countless uh, like edits with him in Cavs jerseys this offseason because that's just that's what everyone wants to happen, especially with KD going to the uh, going to the Warriors now. But again, they, the the Heat still can compete in the East for a little bit. I mean, they just re-signed Hassan Whiteside, granted for a lot of money, but. Again, that was a good move to hang on to him. Dragic is all right. Even though Heat fans put way too much pressure on him to become a superstar, Justice Winslow is still a good player. You lose Luol Deng, but let's be honest, like I, I didn't really think he was going to do a lot next year. And if you get Dwayne Wade back, then, man, you're at least still a, oh, a top six team in the East, in my opinion. All right, so that'll pretty much do it for this video. Like I said, I wanted to kind of clarify all the Dwayne Wade stuff because it's been all over the place man it's been uh every single day there's a different rumor about Dwayne Wade going to one of those different five six or maybe seven teams New York's been a large rumor as well um yeah the LeBron stuff's been going back and forth yeah they've been talking a lot but that's just because they're really good friends like um I, I mean there was some news released today did the did the Cavs accidentally reveal that they're signing Dwayne Wade no they didn't if they do sign him, then great. Like, I'm not saying that it would be a terrible thing for basketball. I mean, at this point, I mean, before now, with KD still on the Thunder, com competitive, like competition-wise in the NBA, yeah, well, it probably wouldn't have been that good a thing. But, I mean, with the East competing with the West now, yeah, that, yeah, it would. But, again, it's $3 million for Dwayne Wade. I mean, yeah, they could move some pieces for sure, but I don't think they're really going to. Anyway... That's pretty much it for this video. Um, if there is big enough news tomorrow, I'll do a video. But there was barely enough news today to do one. 
So again, probably just looking at like when Dwayne Wade or JR or whatever LeBron gets, I'll do stuff for that. But that's pretty much it. See ya.